Hello students, welcome to RB short term course. So in today's session, we're going to learn how to draw a white cloth. So I'm using a black canvas board, but if you don't have a black canvas board, of course you can use a white canvas board and paint completely with black acrylic paint. And now I have prepared the sketch as well with my white glass marker pencil. And here we will be using only two colors that is black and white. Okay, so now I have prepared the sketch of the cloth, how it has to be the foldings and the shadings, the highlights and the darker shades. All these things I have prepared the sketch first. And now I'll be I'm painting complete white and wherever the darker shade is I'll be uh, giving a gray shade for that and wherever the lighter shade is I'll be giving the complete white now I'm preparing the outline with my black oil painting I'm just taking a bit of a linseed oil in order to give it a smooth finish So remember to prime your canvas before starting any acrylic or oil painting. You can even use a gesso as your primer. There will be two kinds that is a white gesso and a black gesso. You get it in two different colors. So definitely you can use both the colors for the priming purpose. If you don't have a gesso, you can even use an emulsion paint of white or black color and use it as a primer. Or you can even use your white acrylic paint or a black acrylic paint for the priming purpose. So here I have used a black canvas and a black acrylic paint as my priming. So now as you can see as my sketch goes I have filled it with black and white colors. So the outline is with black and for the rest I am using my white color and filling it up. So now it is almost done. This is our first layer. And now for the second layer, uh, it is not necessary that the paint has to be dried for the second layer. Even if it is not dry, that's okay. We can still smudge it. We can blend it. So as you can see now, I have applied a bit of black and make it a gray shade. And now you can see the bottom of the cloth. It is appearing realistic, isn't it? So now I'll be doing the same technique for all over the area. So wherever the foldings are there, we will be giving a gray shade or the darker black shade. And wherever the cloth is exposed to the light, it will be complete pure white. So here we are using only two colors that is black and white remember that and uh, I'm applying more white so as you can see the white is not so bright so we will be adding more white on top of it and we'll be making it more brighter to get the realistic cloth And try to use a flat brush as much as possible. I'm giving the outline for the cloth over here now. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking my white paint and I'm giving a nice thin border which is dark and bright enough to be seen. In these kind of paintings, it is very much important that you give this 
folding effects and the highlights and the border outlines all these things matters a lot so it is very much important As you can see, I'm going over and over again with the white paint. Why? Because I want to make it more highlight. So that's the reason I'm going with white paint over and over again. And now I'm using a zero number brush for the thin line which I need. Now I'm using a very thin brush in order to give the outlines. Be very careful. Do not smudge it with the white color. And again, it will be very much difficult for us to get the highlight shade. Okay. And now using the same zero number brush, I'm giving a very thick white border so that you can absorb that there is a highlight and you can feel that the cloth highlight at the edge, isn't it? And now I'll be doing the same thing. I'll be repeating it again and again for all the layers of the cloth. You have to use the same technique. Please do it with me so that you will not get confused and remember if you feel that the video is too fast and you're going a bit slower please feel free to pause the video or please rewind it back see it again if you have any doubts and then do it and still if you have any doubts you can always post your doubts in the mm -hmm. google classroom or you can always even text in the group which is there and all the teachers will be available in order to help you out if you have any doubts okay and please observe where i'm giving the highlights and where the foldings are there uh, if you want to understand it clearly please take a white cloth and place it on a table and observe the foldings of the cloth so the inside part will be a bit darker or um, the shadow will appear and the outside part will be very brighter so observe that and do it accordingly. So at the tip of this cloth, I'm trying to get a gray shade. So as my oil painting is still wet, the uh, white color which I'm applying is getting blended with the black color and we are getting a gray shade, which is really good. So once this is done, then we will let our oil paint dry for two to three days because it has to be dried again. If we are applying more white and more black again, it will definitely blend in and we will not get the effect which we need. So that's the reason after this layer we will let the oil painting dry for two to three days and later we'll take it out and again apply the final layer of this cloth. Okay. So now as you can see I'm doing the same thing. I'm using the same techniques and the same steps for the upper cloth. I'm just outlining it with black outlining it and everything with a black paint use a zero number brush or a one number brush it will come more good if the brush is thin so now i'm taking my white paint and i'm blending it in i'm creating the folding effect now Now I'm using a thick white paint for the edge. So that is a highlight part. And right below it, I'll be using a very thick paint. I'm just taking some linseed oil and I'm mixing it with black for the darker shade. I'm just 
correcting the outlines now if you can see the oil painting is dried i have kept it for two to three days and it is dried a bit but still it is not completely dried it is still wet but it is dried for some amount so that we can apply and make the final layer to sit on top of it okay so this is our final layer which will be preparing it right now i'm giving an outline with a black color so that makes it appear look like a darker shade just giving the folding effects inside it I'm again outlining with the black for each and every layer of the cloth I'm outlining it with the black As you can see, I have outlined each and everything with my black paint using a very thin brush. And now I'm applying a bit highlight for the cloth everywhere. So wherever we need the highlights, I'm using a white thick paint, making it more highlighted. As you can see, now the cloth is highlighted a bit and I'm just blending it in. Always try to blend in. Do not make it sit and look like a patch that will look very odd. So always you have to make sure that you blend in both white and gray color and make it appear like a highlight and a darker shade. I'm just doing it so I'm doing the same for the upper part of the cloth as well. Just trying to get the white highlight on the top of the cloth and the gray shade on the bottom of the cloth as you can see now i have applied a very thick paint see now uh, the white color is sitting on top of the gray color it is not getting blended and it is not appearing like a gray color it is pure titanium white so this gives us the highlight look and the effect which makes it more good and realistic. Now I'm applying white on top of the cloth. So the upper part of the cloth will be highlighted and the lower part of the cloth, which is folded inside, will be having a gray shade or the shadow effect. So now I am almost done with completing the white highlights and now i'm taking a bit of black and making it a gray shade and now i'm applying the lighter gray shade for the cloth so to give it a folding effect i'm using the gray shade and applying it Now I have even applied the gray shade and now for the top of the cloth, the left out part, this is the only part which is left out. Once we are done with this, we're done with the painting. Isn't it good? Okay. So now I have applied the complete white paint and now I'm using my black paint and giving it a shadow or the darker shade to give it a folding effect using my black and it is becoming gray as i'm blending it with my white color and i'm using a very dark black for the outlining purpose and of course i'll be blending it in 
As you can see, the grey, the black and the white is blended in nice and neat. It is not appearing like I have applied any patch or something. So make sure you get the same effect by following the same techniques and the same method. I'm applying a thick white paint on top of the cloth over here. I'm just adding more highlights to it. And now our artwork is done. Isn't it good? So practice this again and again. And remember, art is always a good start.